Here, in this section number 2, we'll be laying out your Bootstrap 4 web design. We'll be starting off with creating a simple web page layout using containers, rows and columns, then moving on to adapting the page for mobile and tablets with some grid and breakpoints, how to offset columns to get that exact layout, and we'll be taking a look at nesting and ordering columns to achieve a complex layout, and finally employing the Flexbox grid to create equal height columns, and a lot more. Creating a simple web page layout using containers, rows and columns. We'll be starting off by getting the path to the Content Delivery Network or CDN from the getbootstrap.com and then using Notepad++ to create the wireframe. Jumping into Notepad++ to start off, we have a simple HTML5 skeleton of a website with the basic things and I'm going to fetch what is needed more to make this a Bootstrap 4 ready HTML. Going to getbootstrap.com, we scroll down a little bit and we see the Bootstrap CDN here. First off is the CSS only. Copy that and jump into the Notepad++ where we place the code right above the style sheet, the section2.css that we have to keep our custom CSS code, and for the rest we copy three more lines, jump into get bootstrap, and placing that code right before the closing body tag. We also created a really simple CSS file, wf class to show the wireframe. It will just outline certain areas with a one pixel solid black line and ns class with background color silver and ns2 class of background color gray to show you some areas. Also min height on rows of 500 pixels so we can better see the wireframes without actually adding content. In the body tag we start with bootstrap. So let's begin with a div class equal container. Everything fits within this div. Start a new div class of row, and within the row we have a div class of call, that's a column, and we will add the wf class to have it a wireframe. Close that. In the first row we are going to have a carousel, and it turns out as a big black wireframe box with a text of carousel. This is a carousel, and now let's add another row for some services. This would be service 1. Copy this a couple more times for service 2 and service 3. If you're familiar with Bootstrap 3, you'll notice that I don't have the exact number of columns that this content will occupy. The reason is that Bootstrap 4 is smart enough to distribute the columns equally among the 12 columns. Let's see how this looks like. Save it and do the refresh. Now we see that service 1, 2 and 3 are equally spaced and have equal sized columns. Let's move on to something more interesting, by adding products. This could be the product 1, 2 and 3, and now we want to make product 1 a bit more prominent on the website, so we give it a 6 column width, so that's half of the total width. Let's check out what happens to product 1 and product 3. Save that and do a refresh. Now we see product 2 takes up half the space, product 1 and 3 take the remaining 3 each. Next, we want to show the team that works for us, so let's copy that and see if we can have this girl 1 and guy 2 and girl 3, not this one, and 7 of these, so 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now you'll notice that the 7 really doesn't fit in with the 12 column grid that Bootstrap used to have. Let's see how this turns out. Save it, do the refresh. Each member of the team gets equal sized columns. That's quick and neat. Now we want to create a contact us row, so let's have something simple. If you don't know the exact width of some content, like we have contact us in the center, that we don't know how much space will take. We are going to have empty columns before and after. It's going to be two columns from the large screen. Let's look here in the center, it'll automatically take the space that's needed. We can have complex setup like column 12 for the extra small devices and then call MD auto for having the column sized based on the natural width of the content. So let's see how this contact us comes out. Do the refresh. The only thing is that we need to center the whole thing here in the middle of the page. So let's add some code for that. That we will do on the row level. So just add the class justify and justify content empty center. Save it. Refresh and now we have the whole area centered on the row. 